cosplayers cosplaying. What does it all mean? The act of cosplay is something that has blown up in the last 10 years to something which was niche to now a rather mainstream activity. In essence, cosplay is dressing up and pretending to be a fictional character. Whether the character is from a TV show, a film, a cartoon, or from the world of gaming, the possibilities are endless. My dad has been cosplaying for three years now as the Batman villain Bane. Not only has he researched, purchased and made his costume to mimic the character, he also has to go through a transformation to get into the character for the big event. I never really understood why he keeps doing it. So instead of getting one person's point of view, I thought I'd spread the question out to a broader audience. So on the 14th of March 2015, I travelled down to the London XL Arena to attend the London Super Comic Con, home of comic book lovers, merchandise buyers and of course cosplayers. Throughout the day, I met and interviewed some lovely cosplayers and targeted them with the question, why do you cosplay? Um, it's a great way to make friends. Be someone different. Yeah, it's nice to be someone different. You get to be someone else for the weekend. You get to play your favourite character. I love it. It's like running around, getting random hugs off people. It's just such a good laugh. It's uh, you know giving young people something fun to do, where they can uh, where they can dress up as their favourite characters or kind of escape reality for a little while. What we like is making something by our hands. You know, when you have fabrics, then at the end you have a dress. You take pleasure, you know, even if you have some pain sometimes, but you, you take pleasure. It's one hobby that makes you be yourself, you know, I can be here and meet tons of people. But you can be yourself thing. at the same time as being somebody yes. else as yes, well. Yes, you can. And yeah. have lots of fun doing it. Yeah. After the event, I caught up with my dad and Terence, a friend that my dad made through cosplay, coincidentally who also plays the same villain. We ended up having a discussion about how both of them got into cosplay. This guy just had a white vest on and a mask. Mm. And uh, Carl went up to him and he popped on this mask. Mm. But that led me to do Bane myself, that person mm. who Carl took a photograph with, because Kat says, my missus said, you could do that. Mm. But it was because the person wasn't wearing the full outfit, they were just wearing the mask. Yeah, no, so that led me to yeah. cosplay. Because I thought, well, if a, if a guy can just put a mask on and play a character, mm. well, is it a lot more to wear than just the mask? You know, and there was. Mm. I, I watched the film and I thought, yeah, there's, he, he's got quite a few different costumes here. Can we do it? I've got the build. Yeah. Sh shave the hair. Happy days. And I think, yeah, we'll pull it off. But it's just one big mass. It's a massive family, but it's so small, isn't it? Yeah. It's a massive family of people cosplaying. It's very social yeah. in the sense and a very accepting group. Well, yeah. in certain circles it has its own dark side unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Like anything. But the majority is you've got an instant icebreaker because someone knows who you are mm. before they know who you are, if yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. So like, oh my god, that's awesome, you're bane, you know. Mm. They're like, yeah. Mm. And then you'll be when the mask comes off, then they'll talk to you and they'll find out your real name, who you are, where you're from. But you'll always meet up as characters, and you'll always have that instant bond. Like, yeah, yeah. Straight away, you're all together. You're all doing the same thing. You're all having fun. I mean, just this year we met a fellow called James, dressed up as Batman. There I am, dressed as Bane. Mm. Immediate people are like, oh, can we get a photo? Can we get a photo? Mm. Because Dark Knight Rise is still fresh in people's minds. It's only been like a couple of years since the film was out. Very fresh in people's minds. So as soon as they see Batman and Bane together, instant recognition. Straight away, we're working together, doing mm. fight poses. Mm. From that weekend, that guy is now a member of our cosplay group. Uh, quite an active member. Contributes quite a lot. And I message him all the time about our plans for the next convention. Yeah and we'd, we've got a lot based around Batman and Bane because mm. we know we can do so much with it and it brings so many more people into the fold that way as well like I like say, instant icebreaker someone is nervous, they see you two really confident mm. you're like, yeah, come join us, come hang out with us by the end of the weekend 
and they're going like oh yeah I've got an idea for this costume that costume they suddenly their confidence has gone through the roof just by meeting two other people dressed yeah. in a costume yeah. that's one reason why I really enjoy doing it I've always loved certain characters always had the aspiration to you know I've, I've put on a lot of weight these characters are often quite physically strong I used to be like that so it's a, it's, it's a goal as well to get yourself back to that stage so that you can it's like upgrading the outfit in a way I'm upgrading myself to go with the outfit mm. so that you're close to what you enjoy and because I did a my fun impression of Bane people were like oh you should do it and it's like why why, why not do you find in, in cosplay I do as well you get a um, different levels isn't it there's mm. like level 100 which mm. is up there which is so close to the real character in the film or, mm. or the comic or or, or the, the, the video game and then you've got the, the guy with the box on his head yeah who thinks he's a stormtrooper yeah you know, it's from one extreme to another, but I think they've all got the same ethos and the same mm. feeling, which is they're all having fun. Yes, that is the primary, or it should be the primary for all of it, mm. to me, is the fun part. You can spend thousands of pounds making it perfectly movie accurate, yeah. if you really want to. I've got no problem with that. At the same time, I don't have a problem with the guy who's got the... Uh, you know the plastic vest with yeah. the muscle shape in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's what he wants to wear. Hmm. I've got no issue with that. I, I do find it a shame though that there are people that do have issues with it. Like most cosplayers, Terence spends a lot of time, effort, and money making his costumes bigger and better. Before researching into the subject. I didn't actually realise how much effort and time it took to make a simple costume. You have the fabrics, the glue, the sewing machine, the measurements and the time and money spent just to make something wearable. The cosplayers I spoke to emphasise this, especially those who really look the part. It had about four or five months to put together in total, but I work at the same time, so. Yeah. I've probably worked on it for like just about a month. Yeah. And it's the first time I've used, um, the first time I've made armour or sewn anything really. Okay, so you say it's nice, um, I've got, I have bits from all over, so uh, my staff I made, um, and it took me, it probably, if, all in all, probably a couple of months getting all things together. Um, I, I'm a sort of a bit of a cosplay cheat in the respect, whereas I had my costume made for me in America um, by a guy who actually made uh, costumes for drag artists. Well, all of this is sort of like thrown together with different like leather coats, uh, DIY, um, DIY bits and bobs, uh, motorcycle uh, jeans, um, toe caps, builder boots, all that stuff, you know. So, and most of the stuff like leather coats you can go into any store. They're a little bit expensive, yeah, but, but it's worth it. it. Yeah, definitely, definitely yeah, worth it. Okay. Just walk, just walking around it alone. It's yeah. We get by the end of the day, we're absolutely knackered. We, we got up about half four, <laughs> so <laughs> quite a bit. And, um, then they have to trim it to fit, and they have to strap it all together. Get undersuits, get fans in their helmets because it's hot. Gets the um, how to, the, the little speakers that allow them to talk in a, a, the right stormtrooper voice. So it can take several months. Um, Somebody did a Boba Fett, it took them three years. This is actually the quickest outfit I think I've ever made. It was a month and a half it took. And uh, yeah, a lot of hand painting. Yeah. It was a pain in the ass. I think that would be Batman. Yeah. Batman would be my thing. I would want the full, authentic, the, voice the whole thing, man. Con, um, this only took about two to three days. Uh, not long, there's not much of it to make, to be honest. It was very short, uh, only in uh, three days. Yeah. And Hurt was was about uh, uh, 100, 100 hours <laughs> once before and it fell apart so but this is like the second round half new and half old it took about two weeks but just the evenings of two weeks so yeah. without actually realizing until the day i arrived at the convention famous tv and radio presenter jonathan ross was around in the day to promote his new comic book revenge in the morning, I approached his management team and asked if I could ask Jonathan some questions on camera. They told me to come back later and have a one-on-one -on -one interview with him. With this in mind, I suddenly felt very nervous as I was about to interview the biggest interviewer in the UK. 
This is what Jonathan Ross thinks about cosplay. I, I love seeing cosplayers generally. I love seeing cosplayers here. I first encountered them in Japan years ago when it was a big thing with the anime scene. And I'm pleased to see that it's really caught on in the West as well. Um, but I love it. It really makes the event much, so much more fun than it will be otherwise. I've seen a few great ones today. I mean, I saw a whole family done as the Guardians of the Galaxy, and that was nice yeah, to see a whole that. family doing it together. I saw a red Sonya who was uh, very strong and very sexy. That's always good. Uh, I saw a couple of guys who I think were Digimon, but when I said to them Digimon, they got quite angry with me, so they obviously weren't Digimon. And that's one of the perils of cosplay is if you think you know who yeah. it is and you don't quite know it, it's all you can cause terrible offence. Yeah. Okay, well, I have cosplayed in the past, but, but once or twice as well, perhaps more amusingly, you'll enjoy this. I mean, I've got a, a Captain Harlock costume. It's from a fairly obscure um, uh, Japanese cartoon series that I like. It's got a scar on one arm and a big laser sword. I like that one. So I've done a few, and I, 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 I also have um, Lady, uh, what's her name, Eileen or something. You know the Diana Reed character in Game of Thrones? Yeah. I've got that outfit. Okay. That's good. That's kind of gender fluid cosplay. But I was at Comic Con in America a few years ago, and I was wearing, by my standards, fairly normal clothing. Yeah. It was an Armani blazer, white trousers, some shoes. I had a nice shirt on and a camera around my neck. I had a I had a, a beard at the time, and someone came up and said, "Can we take a picture of you?" And I said, "Fine." I thought it was someone from yeah. England who I was, so I did a picture. I'm not I'm not making this up. A magazine came out called Geek, and I was in it, and it said best and worst cosplayers in San Diego. I was number third worst cosplayer in my own clothes, and it said I was dressed as an aging hipster, which is the most insulting thing. Why do you think people cosplay? I think they do it because it's fun. I think they do it because it's a fantasy thing that you can live out. I think it's great because whether you're you know a boy or a girl. Whether you want to do it uh, kind of in your own sex or you want to kind of do the cross gender thing, you can look really cool and fun and sexy for the day without it being about you. And if you're someone who maybe isn't that confident about the way they look normally or maybe doesn't feel they have a personal style, suddenly you can come here and you're Star Lord or you're, um, uh, you know. Um, I mean, you got my dad here who just sucks Bane. <laughs> oh, I, I thought he was a homeless guy. I, I didn't know that was your dad dressed yeah. as well. I thought that was just a guy who was down on his luck. I mean, I was going to give him. <laughs> no, I just got him off. The I was going to give him a coin. I was oh. going to give him. Some, I thought. <laughs> see, I thought he was going to sell me the big issue. I really did. But it's a, now I see it's a good look. So, reflecting back on my day at the convention, I noticed there was a recurring theme to the answers to the questions I was asking. People cosplay because it's fun and enjoyable. Wow. All the effort, apart from, as I say, collecting for charities. We are one, like one big family and we all get together, we all share tips and it's just so much fun, it really is. It's just the fun of it, it's the laughs we have, the people we meet, it's really good. It's fun, it's, it's enjoyable. I wish I had gotten into it when I was younger. It's just something fun to do. <laughs> um, and it's just it's sort of seeing the next step, it was like going from miniatures to something huge that I could wear and it was just so much fun. It's nice being able to go to a convention where everyone is on the same level or loving the same thing and you can tell straight away, not because they've got a side on their head but because Everyone's they're literally wearing the costumes. And... It doesn't matter which country you're from, that if you have like your favourite characters, that's like an international language. Yeah, definitely. It's, 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 it's a thrill when someone walks up and like, oh yeah, yeah, you're from that movie, it's really good. And it's like, thank you. Yeah, this is oh, definitely this is one of my favourite. Favorite. Yeah. And we like to do it together because we can match We're warriors. Well. They don't receive a prize, they're not paid any money, and they don't gain any fame. People do it for the sheer fun and enjoyment of it. The cosplay community is built on people who have a passion for creativity. It's all about creating a different persona, wearing that and becoming a completely different character. Cosplay is a great excuse to escape reality for the day and to become someone who you may look up to or who have always been dreaming of being. I may reconsider dressing up at my next convention and seeing what reactions I receive myself. <laughs> I told him on the way up here, no fighting. <laughs>